I bought this retract set from Hobby King. Uh, if you search 767, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the, the, the four-wheel trucks that are spring-loaded and so is the nose gear. But the problem is they're too heavy for my uh, B58. I bought these because they are uh, they were rated for a heavier model and I wanted heavy duty retract systems so that whenever I built my gear um, I didn't have to worry about whether or not it can lift them or not because these are heavy in fact if um, if you're interested in these or those they're available just send me an email I'll sell them to you they'll be cheap because it's very heavy this whole mess is heavy and as far as this equipment being able to lift it not gonna happen because right here uh, I bought one set put it in the plane two retracts later it failed this right here strips out it stripped out on one and I'm pretty sure it's gonna strip out on the others which is why I had to buy another set now right here on this one, the screw went into to hold the motor on this plate. And what happened was the screw is too long. It chips the magnet, the magnet jumps over, hits the armature, locks up the motor. This unit isn't any good. Um, unless of course you're willing to take it all apart. Take it all apart and fish it out and make it work. But anyway, I had to order two sets so that I'd have parts to keep my B58 in service so I spent twice as much money putting retracts in my B58 so to the modification okay you guys that like to tinker love this um, what I did was I made my gear out of brass tubing off the shelf brass tubing from the hobby shop uh, there's steel pins that go inside these tubes to make the axle stronger but inside I've got the spring so I've got shock absorption this way and if this bottoms out it does this too so you can get away with thinner thinner and lighter metal if you have shock absorption otherwise you have to go with the heavy stuff that Hobby King wanted to send you um, as far as the the scissors go I took brass tubing and pounded it around a pair of needle nose pliers and made the made the scissors to keep the wheel straight there's a little bit of play in there but it won't make that much difference because the, once the wheels contact the ground they're going to track straight now as you'll see in a minute this drag link was needed to keep the I couldn't count on gravity so I put a drag link in here to keep the wheels flat as they go into the into the hole and they tuck in nicely without any problem the nose gear pretty straightforward Kind of boring, really. So just when I thought my troubles were over, I got the retracts working. It's cool. It looks great. I found out whenever I put it on the the CG pins that it became extremely tail heavy, despite everything I did to make it light. So I had to come up with a way to shift the CG to balance the thing as it moves. Now, what I wound up doing was using the battery, because I don't want to add lead, to, to the, uh, I added the servo that moves the, the battery back. You'll see. Gear down, still balanced. And gear up. And I'll show you a little closer. One more time.
again, a three month project. I could have designed a whole airplane before I did this, but this airplane doesn't owe me anything. And um, I wasn't flying it very much because I tried bungee launching, friends throwing the airplane. It was always getting it in the air was a real pain. So I wanted wheels on it. Uh, if you wind up doing this mod, do um, go with just three wheels. It makes it so much easier and you may not have to do this. So here's the, here's the test. I've got it on CG blocks. Uh, piece of foam at a point, so I've got the CG set up. The gear's down. Right now, it's pretty balanced right on the CG. So, let's move the gear and see what happens. Let me steady it. There we go. Just a tad nose heavy in flight. And back to balance for landing. I think I got this beat. Um, I'll make a video of the flight if I can find somebody to run the camera because I want to be the guy at the radio. Uh, thanks for watching the video. And I hope if you guys try this, you think about how much weight is being shifted to the back.